Today we're going to break down a pretty energetic and cool DK transition suggested by one of you guys. It's a James Hype routine where it transitions from One More Time by Daft Punk to I'm Losing It by Fisher. James Hype is crazy on the decks and major respect to him and his routine. Check out his YouTube page over here and show him some love. So what makes his transition look and sound flashy is how James goes crazy on the Daft Punk sample when he rapidly plays with the volume faders and play slash pause buttons. But don't get intimidated. In actuality, this is a pretty simple routine. So I've counted the main points of his transition and recreated an almost simpler version of it that any of you guys can do with any DJ controller. Let's begin. So let's first break down the songs we're going to use. On the left, we have One More Time by Daft Punk and we made three cue points to serve as visual guides for this tutorial. And on the right, we have Losing It by Fisher and we have six cue points that will also serve as visual guides for this routine. And these are Vinyl Break Settings on Recordbox DJ and Serato. Anyway, the first thing James does is play One More Time by Daft Punk. As that song goes on, James readies the second track losing it by cueing the beginning of its build-up section, which I've marked here as cue point A. Then turning its filter knob to the 7 o'clock position, then activating an echo effect on it at about the 9 o'clock position, then finally bring its volume fader all the way up. Now once one more time reaches its 30 second beat on its chorus, which I've marked here as cue point B, it's time to get ready to make a 2 beat loop at this section here, which I've marked as cue point C. This is the yeah sample that we're going to heavily manipulate. So once you get to that section, it'll be time to make a two beat loop on that sample. So now that we got that loop going, it's time to rapidly press the Q button on losing it. And as we do that, at the same time, we're going to gradually bring its filter knob to the 9 o'clock position. And once you reach that position, we're going to press play on the track. Keep in mind that the echo effect is already activated at the 7 o'clock position. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, as the song plays, we're going to gradually bring losing its filter knob to the 10 o'clock position and at the same time, gradually increase its echo effect as well. And we do all this increasing for about 16 beats or until we reach cue point B on the losing it track. Now once you reach that position, it'll be time then to have our yeah sample from 2 beats to 1. Now this buildup is getting pretty hype. So for another 16 beats or until we reach Q point C on losing it, we're going to crank the filter knob to the 12 o'clock position and its echo effect around the 10 o'clock position. And once you reach Q point C, we're going to half our sample again from one beat to one half. 
and then we're going to deactivate the echo effect going on on losing it and activate an echo effect on the Yas sample with the same parameters we use on losing it. Now, as the energy builds, make sure to keep your cool because the next few steps are going to be really quick. So once you pass 8 beats on losing it, or once you reach Q point D on that track, we're going to then half the Yas sample from one half to one fourth. And now we proceed to the part where we go crazy on the Yas sample. So once we pass 4 beats, we're going to turn the filter knob on the Yas sample to the 3 o'clock position, then back to the 12 o'clock position. And after another 4 beats have passed, or once we reach Q point E, that'll be the part where we rhythmically play around with the volume fader of the Yas sample till we reach Q point F. So that'll be about 8 beats of volume fader moving from Q point E to F. So once you reach this position which is Q point F, it'll be time then to rapidly press the play slash pause buttons on the Yas sample for about 7 beats. Then once you reach the 8th beat, do a quick backspin on the Yas sample and bring down its volume fader. And that's it. So you've reached the end of the video and the question of the day is this. For you, how important are DJ routines nowadays? Let me know your opinion in the comment section down below and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.